The next question relates to facadism and in particular pastiche design, which are often heavily criticised. Um, but what role and can they play a role in preserving the character of parts of Westminster? And are they appropriate to Westminster? Are there any particular examples anybody wants to give where they are or where they most certainly are not appropriate? Uh, Hugh Bullock. Um, I think I'd like to put the question in a slightly different way, that there could be a case where you need to explore that approach. And the example, ironically, of course, is Regent Street, where the decision has been made that those facades are such significance that they stand, whereas there's a recognition uh, that the utility of the space behind those facades was very poor. And that's why I said earlier about the question of functionality is critical. So I think when one's looking at these issues, one has to look very much at what is the job of the land use, be it residential or housing or retail or offices in a particular area, as well as bearing in mind how you treat the facade. So I deal with that question rather in reverse. And I think on the question of the, uh, the balance, this strategy will last, I guess, what, 15 years. And if one thinks back how our views have changed since 1994 and what we thought was okay then, what we think is okay now, and what we think is important now and what we think is important then, I think it's actually extremely difficult to draft the words in a policy that will really capture all of the future and that it will change as people's priorities change over the period. One thing about the LDF that differs from the UDP is we can evolve it and change it as, yeah. as our views change. And I think that's what the, the one benefit I can see of, of an LDF rather than a UDP.